In this video, you're going to learn eight useful digital marketing tools to help you understand your audience, gather feedback and analytics so that you can make better decisions in the future, and some tools to help you build and nurture an audience and, of course, make sales. Let's get started with the first tool. Have you ever been in a situation where you don't know what to post next or you don't know what title to use? Well, there's a website called Tweak Your Business and they have a tool called Title Generator. All you need to do is input your topic, let's say calisthenics, which is a form of exercise. Select whether it is a noun or a verb and how you would like the results to appear. I'll choose sentence case, click submit. And in an instant, you'll find a ton of content ideas based on your search term. It's categorized by lists, best, how to, questions, and more. Let's take a look at some of these examples. We've got apply these five secret techniques to improve calisthenics. Master the art of calisthenics with these five tips and the ultimate guide to calisthenics. Now, bear in mind that not all of the title suggestions will make sense based on your topic. For instance, we've got best calisthenics Android apps, which doesn't make sense at all. How to rent a calisthenics without spending an arm and a leg and how to make more calisthenics by doing less. So obviously not all of these title suggestions make sense based on your topic, but it's a good starting ground and will inspire you to create your next content piece. Next up, we've got a tool called Designer. Designer is a helpful tool to help you create eBooks and lead magnets so that you can build an audience and of course make sales. What makes Designer stand out is its ability to repurpose your existing content. Here's what the backend looks like. What you can do is import existing blog posts and articles. You can also import your word files, Google docs, or start from scratch. As an example, let's go ahead and use the import from blog post or URL option. Next, this is where you enter the URLs of your blog post or articles. For this demo, I'm going to use a couple of my articles on medium.com. So let's say this one right here, the one mistake I made that stopped me from success. And also this one right here, five ways to find focus in a multitasking world. Here's the first article I'll use. I'll head to the address bar, copy it, head back to designer and paste it right here. I'll click on fetch, that'll fetch the article's content and there it is. Next, I'll repeat it for the second article. All right, so I've got the two articles here to make my ebook. You can add as many articles as you want or blog posts. Next, you'll land on the templates page where you can select a specific template for your ebook. This includes a cover as well as the interior of your ebook. Let's say you wanna choose this. Let's either preview it or use it. Let's just go ahead and click on use. Now it's preparing. All right, so now it has compiled the ebook. It's turned those articles that I fetched into this ebook on this specific template. It's done a good job overall. You can see the headings, from my articles. If you scroll back to the top, you'll see a cover page. You'll need to edit this with your own ebook title, whatever it, that may be, you can give it a name. But by using this, you save time designing and creating your own ebooks. You're essentially repurposing your existing content. Further customizations can be made. If you look on the left, you can add elements such as a table of contents. You've got text, images, artwork, and even being able to change the layout of the pages. On its paid upgrade, you're given even more options of importing, such as importing from YouTube. So it'll auto transcribe and then turn it into an ebook. Now, Designer is a paid tool. However, if you look in the description box below, you'll find my link to Designer. Click that and you'll land on this page here. This page here will grant you lifetime access to its basic plan for just $27. And that'll grant you access to the features that I shared with you in this video so far. As a side note, if you decide to purchase Designer, make sure to use my link because if you send me a copy of your receipt, I'll send you a copy of 300 articles that can be repurposed inside Designer to create your own ebook. So more details will be in the description box below. Next up, we've got a research tool called SpyFu. With SpyFu's keyword research tool, what you do is you enter your keyword or topic or phrase and then search. And now SpyFu gives you data such as monthly volume. We've got 43,900 searches per month. We've also got similar keywords, questions. Scroll down and you'll find more analytics such as top Google ads by recommendations, most successful advertisers and their best ads. For example, let's go to the timeline and click this right here. And now we can see Manduka's ad. And these are again, the most successful advertisers and their best ads. You can take a look at this. Model it for your own ads too. Next up, here's a great tool that will make your company or you stand out by making personal videos welcoming your new clients and customers. It's called Bonjoro. With Bonjoro, you're able to create personal videos that get sent out 
after someone signs up or subscribes to your newsletter, for instance, or after someone purchases your product. That way you can delight your customers, show customers that you care, and it'll make you stand out amongst your competitors. Next up, here's a tool to help you understand how your users behave on your website. It's called Hotjar and its main tool is its heat mapping tool. You're able to visualize where people are clicking and hovering over or where their mouse is going. With heat maps, obviously what you wanna look for is the redder, the better, and that's what most people are clicking on right here, this particular option or button. By analyzing this data, you can now make better decisions so that you know where to place certain call to action buttons, certain headlines, and things like that. Moving on to the next tool. This all-in-one system is going to enable a live chat system on your website, a knowledge base, help desk system, product tours, and even customer onboarding. It's called Intercom. And what you can do is create this type of live chat system. So on its website, you can actually use one so you can test it out. We'll click the live chat once and here's what it looks like. We can send a message or take a look at some of the knowledge base articles as you can see. If you've got any website where you've got users or members, Intercom comes extremely handy because you install the intercom widget, as you can see right here, inside your members area, for instance. So that way you can onboard your customers and they're not gonna feel lost in terms of how to go about using your website. So if you wanna give your users a better experience, welcome them and basically just follow up and making sure that they are all good, then use Intercom. Next up, an underutilized and overlooked way of marketing your products and services is through email marketing. This is where you are building an email subscriber base and being able to follow up and send broadcast messages. An email marketing platform that I recommend you use to start building an email subscriber base is ConvertKit. The great thing about ConvertKit is you can sign up for a free account and build an email subscriber base of up to 1,000 subscribers until you need to move on to one of its paid plans. They make it really easy to start your own newsletter and build an email subscriber base. You've got a landing page builder that you can use. You can create signup forms like this, even creating pop-up forms, a newsletter signup form. What you can also do is create automation. So for instance, someone signs up to your newsletter, they get asked a question, and if they do answer one of these questions, they get taken to a different campaign. So if you haven't started building your email list or newsletter, start with ConvertKit. Next up, we've got Optin Monster. Optin Monster will allow you to create lightbox pop-ups, floating bars, scroll boxes, and much more. As an example, let's say you've got an e-commerce website and you wanna feature a special offer for new customers only. You can create a pop-up like this right here, showing something like 50% off or 10% off on your first order. And that's exactly what Optin Monster can help you with. All your website visitor needs to do is enter their email address so that they can get that coupon sent to them. In return, you are building an email subscriber base, which you can then use to follow up on those customers with special offers. It also has exit intent technology. So let's say someone is about to close your website, you can have a pop-up appear with, let's say, one last offer. So that way you're potentially reducing the amount of sales lost. That right about wraps up this video. Let me know in the comments which of these tools you'll be using next or are you currently using any of these? Let me know. In the meantime, I'll leave up this video right here where you can learn 21 more digital marketing tools. I'll see you there.